Right now we're in Cherokee, Iowa. We're going up to Northside Tire. Most of you have been around me, been around with me while we've gone up to Northside and gotten tires done. It's where I get my truck tires done. It's where I get my pickup balanced up. The whole works. That's what we're going to do. We're going to rotate and balance tires on the dually here. We have a long trip coming up here in a couple days running up to northern Minnesota. I want to make sure she's in good shape. Chill, man. Chill. Water every tree, man. These trees need it. They're looking dry. Get them watered. Come on. Mark it up. <laughs> You're going to run out of pee before you even get to the next tree, Jax. Starting to feel like a farmer. I got a free hat. <laughs> Once again, man, that Northside tire, they are amazing. They do great work with my tires on everything I have. Um, I think, if my math is correct, it's three generations there now. Because I was talking to... Uh, the owner's wife and she said that the uh, her son is working there now full-time so you got her and her husband um, the OG the grandpa and then now the son so that is awesome but then they got this tire guy Corey Cody I always forget his name um, scrawny little guy man he goes above and beyond whenever he's working on the pickup there you know because the pickup has spacers in it and it's a dually and you're putting 35 inch tires on my factory rims and he goes out of his way to make sure everything is perfect with them you know if a if a tire needs balanced and or it needs okay when you're balancing a tire and it doesn't uh balance right on the machine here take it off take it back over to the breakdown machine and spin the tire then put it back on rebalance it he does things right man i love that they always treat me good up there they're not too far from that high V distribution center that we always go to here in Cherokee. So if you're ever in the area and need tire work done, go up and uh, give them a shot. They're real good, real good with their work. All right, I'm letting the pups run around, what they call this, Central Park right now. And uh, we'll probably do this for the next half an hour. They were crammed up in the truck for a little bit there. And then we're gonna mosey on back home. Go ahead, Opie, hold up. Come on, Jax. Come on, big boy. Back up, Opie. Back up. Ready? Load up.
59 degrees right now. I can definitely handle this weather. This is perfect weather. A few of you are newer, new viewers to the channel and probably don't remember Millie. Millie was my mom and dad's seven-year-old German Shepherd. Millie was a princess. I always called her princess. Unfortunately, unfortunately, she passed away a couple months back and uh, the vets are thinking it was heart attack or stroke. That was a pretty sad day, followed up by a lot of sad days. And everyone kept telling them, it's time to get a new one. Mom and Dad shared way too much love for a dog to not share it. And they kept saying, just get a new dog, get a new pup, get a new pup. Well, that's what they did. They went out and they bought another dog. Now this one, they didn't get as a puppy. This one they got, well, her name's Rose, Rosie. I call her Rose. She's a year and a half old German Shepherd, paper German Shepherd. I always tell everybody that Millie was one of a kind, and she really was one of a kind. If you tell Millie that she was a four-legged kid versus a two-legged kid, she would have said you were nuts. There's no way. I am a young lady, not a young puppy. She was a great dog, and we loved her, and we loved her. Didn't we? It's different. It's different getting a German Shepherd when they're not a puppy. When you get them as a puppy, you groom them to be your dog. All they know is you. The only rules they know is the rules you gave them. Rosie has no formal training. She's a good dog. There is brains there, but she has no formal training. So mom and dad have their hands full with Rosie. They really do. My boys, not a big fan of Rosie. Not yet. We've been trying for a little bit now. I don't know if her and Jax are ever going to get, or her and Opie are ever going to get along, but her and Jax, they coincide. Come on, boys. Let go of her head. It could get ugly for you if you keep holding on to her. Rosie? Rosie? No. No. That's what a one dog household looks like for a while. She has to learn. It's okay. Rosie, it's okay. Shoot, why don't you? Just one minute he's sleeping, the next minute he's just all over. Blow. Blow. Thank you. Let me see. Did I get it? Hey, we did good. He, he blows his nose for you, Dad. And then he gets all the boogers. I got everybody that ordered 
stickers up to the 26th uh, oh, yesterday. <laughs> you saw him, man. You the leader of the pack. Where are you going? You just got up here. You wanted up here so bad. I uh, wouldn't get down there. And that there is Rosie. I just thought I'd introduce her to you guys. Um, it's going to be some getting used to. Like I was saying earlier in the video, uh, she needs a lot of training. That's what happens when you buy dogs that are not puppies. Yep, that's what happens. So she needs a lot of training. Dad's going to work with her. Mom's going to spoil her. And then hopefully someday get her down to a formal trainer. And I think that'll shape her up and ship her up. But as for Opie, I don't know if he's ever going to like her. He, uh, well, he misses Millie because he can't, he can't play. And Opie is a very high energetic dog when he's not in the truck. So I'm hoping he gets to the point to where he can start playing and running around. And as for Jax, he just lays around and kind of looks at things like, okay, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, throw a like down there. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. And if you're interested in supporting the channel or in getting into some merchandise, jump on over to truckingwithschmidt.com. You guys stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.